Hi everyone, Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a chart reading exercise for the S&P index futures on the day of January 22nd, a Friday. Here's the entire day from nine to 4 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm gonna take you through a minute by minute sequence of candlestick indications to see if we can determine where entry and exit points should be. Now, based on the futures, we know that the market is going to open substantially down from where it closed on Thursday. Thursday, it closed at 38.53, and we're going to open at 38.40, uh, in the on the morning. Now, the first thing we notice, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through minute by minute replay. Let me get my chart set up here. Okay. The first thing we wanna notice is that the first print stochastics is at an oversold level so it might be an indication to jump in based on a, a, a fog of war move you know free people who've taken my course know what I call a fog of war, war move but nevertheless if you didn't get in over here and again this is a five minute chart with two points between each each line I'm going to stop the chart here now you notice at 10.30, you see this candle here? This is a gravestone doji, and for those who have taken my course or know something about chart reading, you know the gravestone doji is usually, can, can be a good indication of the bottom, but it needs a following candle for confirmation. And the following candle didn't quite confirm the bottom as indicated by the gravestone doji. Do gravestone dojis, remember, are found only at the bottom of, of a trend. But, we and we won't go into this in too much detail now, but I just want to point out this gravestone doji with the confirming candle, with the following candle, not actually confirming, but still in all, the bottom could have been in place because look, we are at the, all well, just about the oversold level, uh, uh, oversold level of the stochastics at 10.30. So with that gravestone doji indication and the following candles not really um, taking us too much higher, but the stochastics at a bottom, this could be a good point for an entry with, um, with a stop loss around two, three points below. So let's continue the chart from this point. So if we entered at the gravestone doji, at 38.35 or so, look what happens. Now I'm going to stop over here. If we stayed on our, on our trade, on our long trade, and the market sort of stalled at 38.41, but look at, the, look at the chart. Look at the chart here. This is called a mat hold. And for those of you who've studied charting or chart reading or candlestick reading, a mat hold is really a, a continuation pattern. So if we stayed in, if we stayed in, watch what happened. Okay, I'm going to stop the chart right here. It's around 12 o'clock. If you had stayed in the trade over here, using this gravestone doji as an indication of a possible entry and taking the market up from let's say 38.34 to 38.41 picked up seven points and maybe you would have been hesitant and gotten out here and that would have been okay because the stochastics over here was overbought but look these three candles the following three candles actually is four but it's a, this is a mat hold and really it's a pattern that indicates a continuation and if we stayed in, because we knew how to read these candles and we knew that the mat hold indicated a continuation, we would have stayed into 3847. So the entire move would have given us a return of 13 points right here between 10.30 and 12 o'clock. This is Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar and that's our chart reading exercise for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.